Hey Rockhounds! Today we're going to talk about ammonite fossils and where you can go and what you can look for in order to find some yourself. Many people are surprised by the fact that New Mexico contains marine fossils. So why are they here anyway? Back in the Cretaceous period, which lasted from 145 to 66 million years ago, New Mexico was covered by an inland sea called the Western Interior Seaway. Many animals like ammonites and sharks lived in the seaway and some of their remains were fossilized after they died. Now we can find these fossils in various places around New Mexico, often in large calcareous concretions like these. This is the geologic map in New Mexico. The Manco, Sh Manco Shale is a Cretaceous marine shale, so you need to find places in New Mexico where Cretaceous rocks outcrop at the surface, which are shown in light green on this map and marked with a K. When I'm looking for a place to rock hound ammonites, I use the geologic quadrangle maps of an area, which are available on the New Mexico Bureau of Geology website, to drill down into the details of a Cretaceous outcrop. There are terrestrial sediments in the Cretaceous rocks that will not have marine fossils in them, so you do need to know what to look for on the map. So I look for where outcrops of the Manco Shale coincide with federal BLM or Forest Service land where it is legal to hunt for and take marine fossils. I also look at Google Earth and look for areas of the Mancos where the yellow gold concretions can be seen in the surface. These are going to be prime fossil hunting locations. Spotted this awesome fragmented ammonite. It's really in pieces, but you can see the suture pattern really clearly. Whoa, that was a fatty. <laughs> Too bad it's not in one piece. There's some other bits of it right here. It's probably worth digging this out right here. Look right here. This is all part of that same ammonite. <laughs> There's the suture pattern right there. Yep. Too bad it's in pieces. It'd be really great to find one that was whole. There's another piece right here of it. Yep. Awesome. Piece of it. Put it down with these other ones. Let's get the, what it looks like. These are all parts of the same ammonite. Look at this ammonite just sticking out of the ground. Wow. Another piece. That one's really weathered, but it's definitely a piece of an ammonite. No. So this is about 13 inches across. By far the biggest ammonite that I've ever found. Um, it was in 20 or 30 pieces when I found it, and I spent a long time puzzling it back together the best that I could. This part was all broken up. But yeah, it's an amazing piece, and I think it's a Coilopsaris springeri, but I'm not positive, and I also don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but anyway. Uh, 
the minko shale ammonite. Sometimes it's not obvious that what you have is actually an ammonite. Sometimes sandstone erodes and weathers and patterns that look very similar. So when I first picked this up, I wasn't sure if it was an ammonite or not, but then you can actually see that it has the rib structure on the edge right here. And you can see all along the edge that it has that rippling. Sure sign that it's an ammonite. There's some species that aren't coiled. And so you might find a segment like this that's just a straight segment. Not that frequent, but they are out there. A lot of times you'll just find a little segment like this. It's not super obvious that that's an ammonite. Easy to overlook. So you got to train your eye to look for structures and textures that stand out from the surrounding rock. There's another little piece of an ammonite. The inner coil part. Who knows how big the real ammonite could have gotten. This is just an earlier stage of the shell. Keep an eye out for the suture pattern. That is classic identifier of a ammonite. Sometimes you won't see the suture pattern at all because it can be packed with sediment in there. So look for those structures, rippling, and the general shape. Here's a great fragment. Just look at that beautiful suture pattern. So the ammonites are found in the limey concretions and sometimes it's really difficult to tell that what you're looking at is an ammonite. But there's a piece, see? Right there. Right here. And it's inside this other whorl. So originally it would have had, you know, more of a shell like that. But all, you, all I found when I picked this up was this piece, the interior part right there. The rest of the ammonites broken away. These are eroding out of large concretions, yellow goldish colored concretions in the Manko shale, in the gray shale. There are other fossils to be found in the Manko shale, of course. Um, there's shark's teeth, polysopods. Um, gastropods, snails, stuff like that. So always be on the lookout for other things besides ammonites too, because you might get lucky. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.